Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be showing you the very start of a new project that we're just about to get into and we're going to probably take this right through to completion. This project's going to take us about maybe four to five weeks. Um, all trades are managed by ourselves. We've got the joiner, plumber, spark, electrician, waste removal, everything you name it, we do it. Um, so I just thought I'd take you through everything that we're going to go um, into because these projects as well take a lot of time planning and preparation and into detail before we start so the customer can basically go away, have a hands-off experience, give us a key and come back at the end and it's all pretty much done. That's what we're trying to offer. So, right away, first impressions count why I'm standing outside. We're going to get rid of this front door. That's going to nip in. Coming in, it's going to be replaced by a composite door, by the way. Composite new door instead of these PVC doors. Coming into the hall, right away in the hall. Now this hall needs a new makeover, as customers agree with me. We're going to be replacing these doors. Now we're going to go for some modern solid oak doors and always a fan favourite of our customers is the black ironmongery, black hinges, black handles, black latches through. Radiator in the hall has been replaced, but we'll get into that in a wee bit more detail later, what's happening with the heating system in this property. So we're going to be replacing the architraves as well, and we're also going to be replacing the scutting. Flooring's coming up, that's going to be getting 9mm uh, plywood down on the flooring first to prep the floor and then we're going to be doing herringbone LVT click throughout the full property so that's in the hall, bathroom and living room and kitchen but we'll get into them every second coming into the bathroom now the bathroom is a health and safety hazard and the customer will agree on this one so it's got to go full bathroom suite's coming out designed a new bathroom to make the face space more efficient we're going to be taking this large step away um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, how narrow and um, shallow these steps are. Really unsafe, especially a slippy floor. It's an accident waiting to happen. So toilets going back down to the floor level. Baths coming away, getting moved over. It's a really large bath area that we've got, so that's getting shimmied over. New towel rad radiator in here as well, and moving into the living room. So, in here. Coming into the living room, nice and empty for us. There's no couches, no sofas, um, no coffee tables we need to move around, which is great. The customers have done a great job prepping this property for us, so big thumbs up to them. So these sliding doors, this is a great feature of the lovely balcony outside. It's still early in the morning, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but the sliding doors, they're coming out as well, and we're going to be replacing them. No surrounds in them. Possibly the customer has asked to kind of keep these surrounds because it goes with our blinds and everything. So if we can keep them, we'll keep them, but if they need to go, they will be going. Again, new scuttons in this um, room and parking trays. Now, let's move in to the kitchen. Kitchen straight away. This boiler is going to be replaced with a brand new Worcester boiler. A plumber deals with that, so he's made sure it's a top of the range boiler, um, suitable for the property. We don't want to be putting one in that's uh, not giving off enough power or too much power. Kitchen's coming out. Um, we get a new design done by our designer. We're trying to maximise the space. We're going to be removing these appliances um, and replacing them all with new top of the range appliances. Worktops coming out as well. They're going to be replaced with new compact laminate worktops instead of these chipboard laminated worktops. Windows in the property, every single window in this property has been replaced. That's to try and improve the efficiency of the heating system as well. These old houses can be a bit cold sometimes. So we're really looking forward to this one, guys. Stay tuned, we're going to try and show as much as we can in this series and hopefully you will stick along and watch it. Damn, Daniel. She might need to change it. They have a toilet earlier and come back this way. Hmm. It'd be, it'd be better. I've seen a lot of them, so I've stripped it better to see it in, right? But it might be able to cap that and cut in a new dance floor. Right. Outside. Okay. And call a new hole. Okay. And bring a new one in. Double level. Okay. You know, just above the floor level. Yeah. I'm talking about money. That's good, man. 
So you see that, or you just need to build up again? Uh, Stinking, so it is, man. It's just all rotted underneath. So I think I'm going to replace the joist in that. It's just. Like Mate, I'm telling you that that's the bad design. See, see how the way that was done. I you know, know the bath above the tiles and all that. I bet the, the water's been keeping through there for years. I bet. Oh, it's stinking. I've got a favour to ask you. Um, and? So our windows are supposed to come, but the windows, <laughs> the windows are uh, the, the something wrong with the factory. But they're not going to come till next week. But it kind of uh -huh. looks as we like nothing to do. But I've booked that boy in to help us. Would you be able to move the radiator pipes in the living room in the hall tomorrow morning so that we can like ply with the floor and that and like move on with the floor just to give us something else to do while we're waiting on the windows to come? It should be fine, I am, I'm supposed to be coming back out here to Broxburn but I'll just, I'll go there first. It's just, listen. They could probably come tomorrow morning but we probably need to come a wee bit earlier than eight. That's fine, I'll, I'll leave a key yeah. for you somewhere or, or um, I'll even meet you there. I was there at seven the other morning so I'm happy to get you there, let you in then I, I can go get my plywood. That's fine. Okay, thank you, Mark. It just means, right. and then you can have a wee, right. a wee look at the bathroom, and you'll know you're in for Friday anyway. Ah. Appreciate that. Sorry, right. Daniel. Okay, so yeah, I'll speak to you later. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. We've ripped out the kitchen. We've ripped out the living room. We've ripped out pretty much everywhere. Um, Aaron, the boy that gives us a hand every now and again, he's still going with the bathroom, so that's still going ahead, and that's still getting ripped out. A lot more water damage than first expected with the bathroom, so I think we might need to repair the joists. Replace the floorboards definitely because they're soaking. It's a really bad design from the start. So this is the whole point in doing a new bathroom. What we're up to this just now is I'm going to pick up a couple of bags of screed for screed cement for the kitchen floor. What we're going to do is we're going to prep the kitchen floor so that it's nice and smooth. I like to do this quite early on in the job, especially if it's concrete floor. You know no one's going underneath it, so it means it's a nice smooth surface to work from. You can brush the floor easy and it means it's all level and ready to go. What we're also going to do is pick up a sheet of plywood because we want to get the plywood running through into the living room perfect with the screen that's going to be in the kitchen. So we want to make sure our levels are bang on. It's perfect. 
Hahaha I don't even mean that What'd you get to? Five different types of screws. Aye. Is this the grade we get? Uh, no, the other one. Nah. Aye, actually, Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Just one. One sheet. One sheet. Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting potatoes. <laughs> Get off me, Betty. <laughs> Back half, you spooky bitch. <laughs> See you, I'll take that again. So long, gay boys. <laughs> Hello, two minutes. And until I get to the bathroom. Underneath the house right now, and the reason why we're this down here is because the bath uh, was a jacuzzi bath. So we're down here to unplug it, and we're also down here to inspect the timber joist and the timber floor from underneath because it, I think it's in some nick and I think it's going to need replaced but I think it's quite funny to crawl through the, the dwarf walls of the opening that's been made so <laughs> wish me luck Oh it's actually so scary <laughs> What is the need in making the house so tall? But it's on a hill Judy Oh Ugh Oh it's like lights in here Maybe somebody lived down here do not try and turn them on. No, I wouldn't. Ask Aaron if that's the bath off. Bath. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Paul. Where's Chris? What are you doing? I'm busy. I'm busy. Bye. Working day is done and we're at the running track. So we're training for the High Rocks as you know, it's Glasgow's coming up, four weeks to go, quite excited for it. So today's session is going to be 15 minutes easy warm up, then we're going to do 5 times 1200 metres. So let's see how we go, time to test out our like, 1200 metre splits and see how fast we can do it and try and keep them consistent. Hi, excited, let's get in there. See, this is the lovely new bathroom. The customer's quite happy to leave it like this, and she's just going to shower under these pipes here. That only job. What happened was we took the bathroom out. We basically fell through the floor. The floor was all rotted. The joists were all rotted, soaking, absolute ringing of um, wet rot. So cleared it all out, ripped it all out, taking away any infected timber. Um, so we're clearing out the sole as well because the last guy just decided to leave the full bathroom down here, the first bathroom. So clear all this out so it's nice and empty. Um, in case any services need to come through here and then we'll be replacing the joists and replacing the floorboards I'm 
Excuse me, do you work here? Yeah, I do work here. <laughs> you know, no, 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 It's 45, isn't it? Bro? 45, uh, 1, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5. Yeah, that's me. 2, 6, 6. Yeah. <laughs> Plumber's going to come and cut them all away, take them all away, put underneath. So he's going to spend a bit of time under the floor with big lights, getting all this nice and tidy and putting the new pipes coming through the floor. So we've got all the joists in underneath. The floor is solid. I've been 400 centres. A bit overkill probably, but I want them to be super strong. Put the Visqueen barrett underneath and then we put the insulation on. Now we've got the chipboard, 22mm chipboard flooring down and then we've put 9mm ply down and that's just because it's the same LVT flooring that's going to be going right through the bathroom, all kitchen, living room area. So that'll just make the floor all the one level, a big flat surface, big sheet of plywood and that's what we're doing now, covering the floor. Fastest way to do it is with a cleaning Ended day three on the project and we have made massive amount of progress. Um, unexpected challenges, but we've conquered them and got through it. So in the hall, you'll see we've uh, lifted all the laminate flooring that was down. We've removed the facings, removed the scutting, plywooded the floor, nice flat surface for an LVT that's going to be going down. So the window, we're waiting on the windows coming in. The window factory have had a problem with our saw, but. They've assured me they're going to get the bathroom window for the weekend so that that doesn't stop any progress and the plasterers can come in Monday. So on Saturday I'm going to be replacing this bathroom window as well as that I'm going to be doing the kitchen window. Now we're going to go in there now but we'll quickly pass through the living room and see what we've done in there. You'll see the laminate flooring is gone, the scuttons is gone, the facing is gone, all the internal doors, they're in the skip. So moving through here, we screened the kitchen floor to bring it up to level, that's going to get a rub down, buff down, and then we might put another um, thin layer of screen over the top, but we might get away with it. Kitchen's coming uh, beginning in the middle of next week, and the kitchen window, like I said, that will be getting it changed at the weekend, as well as the bathroom one, and this wee window will be getting locked up over the weekend as well. Day 3 technically for us, but it's Friday of the week, so yesterday we had a day off, well, there was, there was still progress on the job, but we had a day off an admin day, we um, had loads of messages to catch up on, things to do, went to the gym and stuff like that, but the sparks have been, they did their first fix, and the, today the plumbers are in, and today we are going to be fitting the windows, we had a bit of an issue with the windows, um, just getting them delivered, the factories had a problem with us all, but We've got two years we need that are important and the rest are coming next week so no major delays and there's still plenty to get done so What's up bitches? Don't you know I'm we'll pump it up Start of the morning, we're at the gym and It's so exciting!
Hey YouTube. <laughs> All our videos, every YouTube we do, we're always in fucking Glasgow Airport, aren't we? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> right, we're going on a business trip this time, it's not pleasure. Right, Sunday morning, the work week is about to start again for most. Um, we're back at the airport and I feel like all we do on YouTube is video when we're at this bloody airport but the good thing is for you guys this isn't a luxury holiday if you like for us this is work we're going abroad for work so we've been invited abroad to Europe uh, by one of the big brands that we work quite closely with we're going to have a look at their new products create some content and meet some new people so we're going to be taking you guys on the journey and take Jodie obviously and we're super excited so <laughs> let's go 